Hey guys, welcome again, Freddy C Plus. Thank you for dropping in. So today we're going to do something a bit different. I'm going to a a gun show. So purportedly one of the biggest gun shows in in Connecticut. Uh, so we're gonna go in and see if I can record any of this stuff. I don't know yet. I'm gonna have to ask permission just so you know people are funny. Forgot to ask. So I have a YouTube, I have a YouTube channel yes. about outdoors and that type of sort of thing. I wanted to know if I can record myself and some of the uh, farms in there. What's uh, probably need to check with Rob on that. Yeah, we need to. Okay. With, uh, hey guys. So I was just able to uh, get the go ahead for. I was able to get a go ahead for uh, recording here, at least uh, for some some of the displays. I don't know how many I'll be able to do, but we'll see. Oh, so I'm going to go on the commit on this. Hi. Hello. Hello. Hey, how you folks doing? Good so far. Here, here you go. We'll smile. <laughs> <laughs> The, the antiques here. You got You got to have a sense of humor, my friend. <laughs> That's their secret. How old? Right. Are you? Like, I'm sorry. You're 25, right? Yeah, 35. 35 <laughs> last year. I'm 14. She's. Robbed the yeah, I robbed the cradle here. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Some pretty uh, interesting items here. Yeah, there's a lot of fun stuff in this show. A lot of fun stuff. We we deal in mostly antique items, mm -hmm. you know, pre 1899 and you know, older. Mm -hmm. and that's what you'll pretty much see. Wow. So guys, look at the size of this like. <laughs> you have to have like tiny fire, hands. So. Right? <laughs> How can we call these? Makes sense. Well, and you gotta remember, mm -hmm. you know, 150 years ago or so, mm -hmm. the, the, people were not big like we are today. Right. I mean, they were just little, little folks. Huh. If you look at some of the antique houses, you know, the doors were. So guys, so I'm looking at a bunch of uh, antique items here now. So. I don't know, like 18th, 18th century uh, rifles here. This is not a rifle, it's a sword. Yes, this is a sword. Hey, bro, how you doing? Good, good. good. Getting some shots here for my YouTube channel, if you don't mind. So this sword is for 1400 bucks. What's the, I mean, is there a history behind this one or is it just the age? Um, John. Yeah. Hey guys, so these are some other antique. Uh, rifles here from... Error long gone. God gone to chunk. Yeah. So yeah, so interesting things that you find at uh, the gun shows are things like these. World War II items. Mag loaders are good, but 
when you're at the gun range, it makes your time go by faster and you run out of ammunition quicker. You get to. Let's go on this thing. Oh, no, I'm not going to sit down there. I'm in a warm Kind of like this one. I like the, the head of it. Yeah. Yeah. What is this fire? Uh, it's probably 12 feet. Oh. Probably right. Oh, my God. Wood. I know, boys. Yeah, ask the man, and I am on your side now. I'm shutting my shop like you. <laughs> Buffalo Bill. That's cool. I like that. I like that. I'm not trying to limit my all in stuff. Yeah, right? <laughs> Did you charge this thing? It's like 20%. Yeah. More, uh, more accurate. <laughs> so these fit what barrel size? Okay, like, this one here fits a 9mm uh, sub submachine gun. Uzi, MP5, something like that. Yeah. That's a, a 30 caliber bolt action rifle or mm -hmm. semi auto. Mm -hmm. That's a 90 a 9mm for a handgun, that's 45 for a handgun. Mm -hmm. These are uh, old school silencers. I was gonna say. It's like this is the fullness back on that back. And I think you switch this and then open the bar. So I guess two to each side. Best thing about it for weight too, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can't imagine, like, most of the thing is that like wood. <laughs> I saw to all those YouTubers walking around with a camera recording themselves because <laughs> my hands are tired. <laughs> My hands are tired from holding this thing. So hats off to you, YouTubers, because this is hella crazy. So these are some really antique guns. Well, at least I think it is. <laughs> they they kind of are. And they have a lot of weight to them because uh, most of them they're made of wood. Ex you know, except for the ends. Like it's like a plastic feel to it, but like these this section is more wood. I like this one. I love the finishing touch on this. Yeah, I love like this. Pretty dope. Yeah. 
I mean, I like the finish on the wood. This is like 22. Uh, it's both sides. From like firearms, from firearms like these, they need a, a lot. They need a lot of maintenance. They need a lot of tender love and care. It's just crazy how you can go to different trade shows and see antique stuff that you can buy. <laughs> yeah, like this thing is like 125. Like. Ooh. This whole thing is like 225. Okay. To each its own. Now look at this one. This sword is $850. Do you guys want to buy this? Yeah, what I was saying, like, it's amazing that all the antique stuff that you can purchase, um, these stuff, they're very expensive. Um, but yeah, to each his own. What are your thoughts? I mean, it's, it's, it's amazing. So I'm guessing the hand was, is bone or wood? Prong handle sheet horn. From the four corners region out west. Yes. Yeah. That probably did a lot of damage back in the day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. there's, there's no doubt. That's real leather. Yeah. Real handmade too. Yeah. Are yeah, you guys want that? That's like one thousand two hundred and ninety-five dollars. Hey guys, so we're at the gun show in Connecticut, in Hartford, Connecticut. So next year you guys can come and check it out if you want, alright?